What are the benefits of outsourcing? Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna give you seven benefits of outsourcing, starting with you get access to a much larger labor pool. So think about this, for example, you're hiring locally. I don't know how many people there are in your city. Let's say there's a million people in your city. Maybe there's 5 million, maybe there's, maybe there's 500,000, whatever. Let's say there's a million people. So you're limited to those million people for finding the right person for your job. If you were to outsource, let's say just to the Philippines. Well, the Philippines has 100 million people in it. And since it's remote, it doesn't matter where in the Philippines you hire this person or across the world, it doesn't matter where you hire them. So outsourcing immediately gives you access to a much, much larger labor pool than if you're just hiring locally. So reason number two to outsource is you get very affordable work. So uh, for example, someone in the, someone in the US, a, a programmer in the US costs about $100,000 a year. In the Philippines, that person costs about $1,000 a month. You get very affordable work and you can get really, really high quality workers. And that goes across the board for whatever you're looking for, a programmer or a designer or a social media marketer or a content writer or, or someone who's very highly specialized like an investment banking analyst or, or an accountant or whatever it is. You can get very, very affordable work done that's the, the same quality as you would at home. Reason number three to outsource is to take advantage of time differences. I'll give you an example. For me, uh, I do my work during the day and, and I make all kinds of assignments to virtual workers in the Philippines. And then they all come online at night and they all do their work. So when I get up in the morning, I have a whole bunch of work done. I can look through what they've done and give feedback and give instructions and give assignments and then I go away and then they can get to work all at night. So my, it, it feels like my business is getting work done around the clock and it's not like I'm rushed in the morning to get feedback to someone because they're, they're waiting on it for their work day. Uh, I get to do it through on my time throughout the day so that when they come to work, all of their instructions are there and then they get to do their work during the day. So reason number four why people outsource is because there's little to no government red tape. So for example, if you're in the US and hiring a local worker, well, you have to uh, pay part of their taxes, you have to have unemployment insurance, you have to have office space and utilities, and you have to have uh, insurance, uh, like malpractice insurance or whatever it is. There's all kinds of things that you have to deal with, a lawsuit in case someone, you know, you have, in case someone sues you or whatever. So there's, there's a whole bunch of things that go on in the US with the government that you don't have with an overseas worker. So reason number five, is you have low commitment. So it, if you're gonna hire someone locally, you have to bring them in, you have to set everything up so they're getting their W-2 payment, you have to have their computer, you have to have their office space. When you outsource this stuff, the commitment is much, much lower. You hire someone else, it's their job to have their computer. If they're coming into the office, you have all kinds of headache and hassle of, of replacing someone. So your commitment level with outsourcing is much, much lower than it is uh, locally. So reason number six, the benefits of outsourcing is you don't have benefits. So for example, in the US, a, a local worker expects to have paid time off and they expect to have their insurance paid for and they expect you to provide them lunch sometimes or provide whatever else it is. Uh, when you outsource, you have none of that. None of those costs, no, none of that exists. Now, just be aware, there are some cultural things in the Philippines that you should know about. For example, the 13th month is part of what they would consider their salary. In the US, it would be very much considered a bonus. So that's something to be aware of when you outsource. So reason number seven in the benefits of outsourcing is that you can get things done for which you're not an expert. You don't know how to do programming, great. Hire someone else who's overseas to do the programming for you. You don't wanna do social media marketing or you don't know how to do it, great. Hire an expert in the Philippines who knows what they're doing. Here's the thing. Uh, if you're not doing it in your business, then it doesn't matter how it gets done. And the reality is when you go to hire someone overseas, they're probably going to do it as well or better than you. In either case, there's all kinds of benefits to why you should outsource. So if you're interested in, in outsourcing to the Philippines, I just published my book, uh, The Outsourcing Lever. It's all about how to gain leverage by hiring people overseas to do, do your work for you and I'm giving it away for free. I bought a whole bunch of copies of it. Uh, actually, here's one of my copies. You can see it's, it's, been, well, it's been well loved. 
uh, the outsourcing lever. It's free at outsourcinglever.com and it will explain to you the entire process of why to outsource and how and what you can get done and the great work you can do and uh, how to use this to lower your time commitment at work so that uh, other people are doing your work while you're spending time with your kids or doing whatever it is that you love. Go get your copy, The Outsourcing Lever. Uh, thousands of people are getting this right now and it is helping them hire the right people and change their lives. TheOutsourcingLever.com, go get it.